building the user interface now and I've actually sketched out on a piece of paper how I want to, to do the user interface. So the first first things first, here we have our main window form. This has a central widget here. If we click on main window, you can see that we can change some of the parameters here. The only one that I really want to sort of um, do is the um, let me just move this along here. Window title. So I'm going to call this um, NGL QT demo like that. And when we run it, we can change that. And what I'm going to do first is just demonstrate why we actually need to use the layout managers in QT. So I'm going to put in a simple group box here, and I'm going to give it a bit of a size and I'm going to put it there which is where I want to have my GUI elements. Now if I run this what we'll see is that as I move the main window you can see that the group box doesn't respond. This is because it's not sent any of the resize messages and it's not resizing accordingly. So what we need to do is to add a layout manager to the system. Now this does at first seem counterintuitive but you do get used to it. So if we click on the main window and we can either via the menu bars at the top here choose our style of layout. And in this case I want to use a grid layout because I'm going to put various components in various areas. So as soon as I click on layout on a grid you'll see that my application now has a group box that's exactly the same size as the window and as I resize everything resizes and what we're going to have to do later on is we're going to create an OpenGL window and parent um, the OpenGL window will be added to the layout so that as we resize the window everything else resizes so I'm going to click on my main window here and if we look down at the bottom here we can see that we've got our humane window here lots of the other options and what I want to actually get access to is the um, the layout manager that's on here which we see here which is called grid layout now I need access to that so I'm going to name it myself double click and I'm going to call it S because it's effectively static underscore um, main grid, actually let's just call it S underscore main window grid layout. So we know exactly what it is. The rest of these parameters we don't really need to worry about. So now I've got my group box selected here. Again, I want to just give that a, a better name. So I'm going to call it S underscore um, transform. GB, GB short for group box again. We're, we're not going to modify this group box as such, so we can effectively make it a static item. Now if I add another group box to this, you can see that as we move it around, you can see it goes blue, the various areas where it can be added now to the layout. So I'm going to add it to the bottom here, and you'll see immediately the spacing is automatically set up. I'm going to click on this one, and again, I'm going to call this um, S underscore draw group GB, short for group box. And we can double click on the components here. So form, I'm going to call that transform. I'm going to call that draw, like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add a spacer which is going to basically be there as a placeholder for where I'm going to put in my um, window for the OpenGL a bit later. So we've got spaces here, we've got horizontal and vertical ones. If I just move that into there, you can see that everything's re-spaced now. And if I run this, you can see that I've got a window, I've got some spacing, and as I rescale, everything rescales correctly. So the next thing we're going to do is to populate these two dialog boxes with some buttons, which will be in the next movie.